What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this. So we have a Happy New Year motion graphic with some fireworks. I'm gonna show you guys how to create this from scratch. So this video will be broken up and time codes will be down below. So if there's a certain part of this animation that you wanna see and how to create it, you can feel free to skip forward. And as always, feel free to hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. And with that, let's dive into this tutorial. So I'm inside After Effects. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new composition. And we'll just name this New Year's Animation. 1920 by 1080. Change the background color back to black. And we'll change it to about 30 seconds. And then click OK. So the first thing we're gonna do is create the background. And what I'm gonna to do to save some time and show you guys a nice resource is called unsplash.com. Unsplash.com has royalty-free uh, images that you can download and use in your project. Really saves time if you're looking for stock images. So for the sky, I'm gonna use one of these photos. Then in my finder, I'm gonna drag and drop this right into the project window and drag it into my composition. I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard to bring up scale and scale this down. Perfect. And I'm gonna hit T to bring up opacity and we'll bring it down to about 25. And next I'm gonna add some color to the background. So I'm gonna to go to layer, new, solid. We'll just name this background. Color doesn't really matter, click okay. And then go to your effects and presets window. If you can't see it, go to window effects and presets and type in ramp. And this is a good way to add some color between two gradients. So I'm gonna change the white color to a maybe dark blue color. Something that looks like a sky. And we'll click okay and drag this under the stars. We can bring up the opacity a little bit, maybe 240, then toggle switches. And what we can do is just make this additive. So that way it goes through it and it adds to the background. So now we got our sky background. What we're gonna do is just kind of pre-compose this. So Select both layers, go to Layer Precompose, and we'll just name this Sky Background. And click OK. All right, so next we're gonna be working on the firework animation. So go to Layer, New, Solid. And we'll name this Firework 01, because we're gonna make two different firework animations, one with small particles and one with large particles. So this first one will be the first particle we'll make. Click OK. Then in effects and presets, search for CC particle, add the CC particle systems to the solid, go out in time, and we can see that we have a system here. We're gonna adjust a few of the settings. We'll change the birth rate to 18, and we'll change the longevity to eight. And if we go down into physics, we'll change the gravity to zero, so that way it stays in place and it basically just pops out from the center. And what we'll do next is actually keyframe the key uh, the birth rate. So we'll start a keyframe and have it start at 18. Zoom in here and we'll go forward for about three seconds and then make it zero. That way we have just this thing that just shoots out like that. Next, we'll change the velocity since it is going off the screen a little bit when I go forward in time. We'll change it to about 0.4. That way it holds it in a little bit more. And then we'll turn up the resistance to resist the animation a little bit more, kind of holding it together. Awesome, we got this going on. All right, so that's the first particle. We'll click on the layer, hit Command-D or Control-D, and rename this 02. And what we're gonna do is make these particles a little bit bigger and different. So we'll go down to Particle. Under Particle Type, we'll change it to Star. We'll change the birth size to around 0.04 and the death size to about 0.02, so it gets a little smaller. There we go. So we got a mixture going on if we zoom in here. We got small particles and large particles. So the next step, we're gonna take these two fireworks and we'll pre-compose this as our main firework composition. So we'll go to pre-compose firework. And we'll click okay. So what I did in the original is I duplicated the same animation and altered the color, added a glow to it as well, and made the size a little bit different. That way it looks a bit uh, random. 
So what we're gonna do is duplicate this twice. We'll move these forward in time a little bit to offset them. And we'll just work one at a time here. So we'll click on the first one, click solo layer. That way we only focus on this and we'll move this over here. Maybe scale it up a little bit to maybe 130. That way it's a little bit bigger. That looks good. And next what we'll do is we'll search for glow. Stylize glow, add this to the firework. And we'll change the settings here. Go to glow threshold, make it 20%, change the radius to around 150 and make the glow intensity 10. And what we'll do is we'll animate this. So, you know, at around five frames, we'll keyframe all of these and we'll go back to the first keyframe. We'll turn these all down to zero. Then we'll go forward about a second in time and we'll keyframe these again, change them all to zero. And if we hit U on our keyboard, we can bring up the keyframes. So you can see it kind of glows as it goes out here. Very good. Next, we'll colorize the layer. So if we clear our effects and presets, we'll type in hue and saturation under color correction. We'll drag this to the fireworks layer. We'll actually move this above the glow effect. That way it's applying the color and then the glow. And we'll check the colorize box. We'll bring up the saturation and you can make these whatever color you want. So I'm gonna do maybe green And there you go, guys. That's how to make the firework. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is copy these effects to the other layers. So we'll just select these in the effects controls, copy them by hitting Command or Control C on the keyboard. And we'll go to the beginning of the next firework and we'll hit just Command V or Control V to paste it. And what we can do easily is just change the color a little bit. That way it's something else. And we can change the scale, maybe make the middle one a little bit smaller. And same thing with the last one. And we'll move this maybe over here and change the color to maybe yellow. There we go. So if we undo this here, we can play back our animation. we got something happening. We'll just rearrange these a little bit. Feel free to adjust as you like, and you can duplicate these as many times as you want to get the firework animation going the right way. The other last thing I did is I did rotate these a little bit. So if you are on the keyboard, you can rotate these, make them a little bit more random. That way they don't look precisely the same. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. And you can even space these out even further if you want. So that is how to do the firework animation. All right, so next we're gonna work on the text. So to do the text, we're gonna go to, and we'll just bring out our text tool, click in the middle of the composition, and we'll just type in Happy New Year. And under the paragraph, we'll just make sure this is centered and go to a line and center it to the composition. And then if you go to character, we can make these bigger and the font I use is called Righteous, so I'll change that. If you want to download the same font, you can download it in the link down in the video description. There we go. We'll go back to Align, and we'll just make sure this is all centered here. All right, so what we did for the animation is I added an animator. So if you untwirl the text layer, you can animate certain things. And what I did was the scale. So I'll click on scale and this adds a range selector. If we untwirl this, we can change scale to zero. So it starts at zero. And what we can change is the start and end parameters to get the animation the way we want. So if we go to the beginning here, we can keyframe the start, go forward in time, and we'll change it to 100%. And if we play this back, you'll see that it goes like that. And what I did is just selected these keyframes, right click, or sorry, hold down function F9 to give them easy ease. You can also right click and go to keyframe assistance, easy ease. And you can refi refine the animation a little bit more if you go to the graph editor here, select on the parameter and adjust the speed graph. That way it kind of speeds up and slows down. 
the next thing I'm going to do is add the texture to it. So what I did for that is I used a website called Texture Labs to download the texture. This is a free online resource where you can go and download textures. What uh, I did is I went down to the metal section and I downloaded this one that kind of looks gold and uh, glittery, kind of good for New Year's. Now I'll drag this in and if you want I'll link that resource in the video description down below if you want to grab textures. Feel free to get a different one if you want a different one. We'll scale this down a little bit by hitting S on the keyboard and adjusting the scaling. And what we'll do is we'll drag this underneath the Happy New Year text. And what we'll do is change the target mat to alpha mat. And this basically what it is saying is put this layer inside this layer. So it's putting that texture inside the text layer. So that way we get this. And the last thing I did with the text is add a subtle animation. That way kind of the glitter parts animate a little bit. It's not just a static thing happening. So what I did to do that is I added an effect. So if we go to effects and presets, we'll clear this out and we'll type in fractal noise. Under noise and grain, and we'll add this to the texture and we'll adjust some of these settings here. So what I did was I changed the contrast to 500. I changed the brightness to negative 100. I changed the clip that way it, in case you're not working on HDR, it'll clip the whites. And next, if you go to transform, we'll change the scale to 20. And this makes a small, small little white particles basically. And what I'm gonna do next is keyframe the evolution. So if you go to the beginning here, we'll keyframe the evolution, go to the end of your timeline, your composition, and change the revolutions to 100. That way it goes, it does a lot of animation. And under evolution options, make sure you click cycle evolution. And what this will do is make sure it loops. So at the end, when it plays back again to the beginning, it will be the same. And that last thing you wanna do is change the blending mode to add, and this will add it to that texture. So now if we zoom in here, grab our hand tool so you can see, we'll solo this too, that way can see what's going on. And we play it back, you get a nice sparkly effect happening within the text. So that is how I accomplished that. And you know, you can do this with a lot of different textures. It doesn't just have to be text or glitter. So just keep that in mind and add that to your back pocket of ideas when it comes to After Effects animations. All right, so the last thing I want to cover today is you'll notice in the original animation here that fireworks shoot up. So if we play this back, you'll see a little dart kind of come up and then animate the fireworks. And After Effects here, what I'm gonna do is actually take these firework layers and kind of make some space for us. That way there's enough time at the beginning of the composition to animate a thing coming up and uh, animating the fireworks shoot up, basically. So to accomplish this, what we'll do is grab the pen tool and what we'll do is actually draw a line. So we'll go to our fill options, make sure there's no fill. Click OK, go to Stroke, make sure this is selected, click OK. Good width is maybe maybe four for now, we can always adjust this later. We'll zoom out a little bit and then just draw a simple uh, line. Click Off, and we'll just want to make sure we align the end point of the sky to the center of the explosion here because basically it's gonna end right there. And this is the path that that shooting uh, firework is gonna follow. So to animate it, what you'll wanna do is untwirl this, and go to add trim paths. And what you'll wanna do is under the trim paths options, you'll wanna keyframe the start and the end and make them both start at 100. And then you'll want them to end right when it shoots. So right there should go down to zero. And then if you back up a little bit here, what you can do is change this to say, sixteen or so. Sorry, it's going in the opposite direction. We'll just time reverse these. 
There we go. All right, so this is the keyframe. So it kind of shoots up and then it, so it kind of starts long and then it kind of hits that and explodes. So that's how you do it. You have to add this keyframe to kind of offset the start and end animation. And this will just take some doing on your part to try to, try to figure out what the best part is. You don't want it to be too long, but you don't want it to be too short too. There we go. So just add keyframes as you need to kind of get that animation going. And the last thing I did here was that I added uh, what's new in Shape Layers with the 2021 version of After Effects is they added a taper. So I'll show you how that works. Under the Shape section, if you go into Transform Shape, under Stroke, there is a new taper section. And what you can do is change the start and end length. So for example, the start, you can have it at five and the length end length, you can have it at 50. So it's going the opposite way. So 50 for the start and five for the end. That way, if we zoom in here, you can see that as it shoots up, it tapers over time. So that's a cool feature to add to your shoot up animation to give it a realistic thing like it's a shooting star. So that's how you accomplish that. So there you go, guys. I hope you found some value in this, some tidbits on animation. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more and see more After Effects tutorials, I'll put a link right up here. Feel free to go check it out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.